welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through the fabrics I've picked up recently, um, both online and in store now that restrictions are starting to lift here in Brisbane. I'll link as many of them down below as I can, but a couple of them come from like op shops and secondhand stores. But I can suggest a couple of really good places here in Brisbane that stock like king sheet sets and buttons and notions and a couple of patterns. Um, there's a particular Vinnie's store here in Mount Gravatt, which is, there's a Salvation Army and a Vinnie's right next to each other. And they both stock um, a lot of like bed sheets, buttons, notions and that kind of thing. So if you're ever in the area, they're really good places to go. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the fabric. So the first set of fabrics that I want to go through are some that I got from uh, an op shop here in Australia called Vinnie's when I went with my friend a couple of weekends ago. The first of which is this wonderful set of king bed sheets that I think I'm going to use to make something like this pattern which is one that I also picked up at Vinnie's for a dollar. I'll have to do a mock-up so this will probably be the mock-up dress, uh, maybe like a wearable towel. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, but yeah, that's the plan for this one. It's just a lovely, I think cotton probably has a bit of poly in it because most sheet sets these days do, and it doesn't look like a very expensive set. Um, in fact, yes, it says here 50% polyester, 50% cotton, which is fine for me, um, especially for a mock-up trial, even though I try and stick to mostly natural fibers. So the next fabric from the op shop is this wonderful white curtain that I picked up and it has this lovely texture on it. And I really love this kind of fabric for, I'm thinking a little jacket to go with dress that I'm currently drafting uh, or making the mock-up for. It'll be something like this jacket for view B. I'm not sure that I'll make it exactly how this outlines it, but that's the plan so far. The last fabric that I picked up from Vinnie's was this very simple white uh, cotton sheet, I believe. Yeah, cotton, cotton polyester, similar to the white, to the red bed sheet. Uh, and this I picked up, this was actually my goal, was to find a fabric like this. So that I could pair it with this linen that I got from Draper's Fabrics. And it's got this lovely floral print on it. I think it's based on thistles, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and so because this linen was fairly light, it's a little bit sheer on the body. So I just want to get a lining, not only for the structure of it, but also to make it uh, a little less see-through. So that's what that uh, fabric is going to be used for. Um, and that's pretty definite. Um, I'm going to be making this dress by Gertie. Um, it's a B5882. I've already drafted the bodice. I'm going to actually hack it quite a lot. Um, as I'm not happy with just how the um, bodice front sits on me. It's a bit high chested and I think I like the idea of a square neckline more. So hopefully I'll get that finished and drafted and I'll probably film this one, um, though I'm not 100% sure. Another fabric that I got from Drapers was this lovely floral viscose. Uh, I'm gonna make a blouse out of this most likely. Um, I've got a vintage blouse pattern that I wanna test out. So I love this, it's really drapey and flowy. I wasn't sure about the print at first, but I think I'm gonna make it up anyway and just see how I feel about it. Uh, and similar to that, I got a cotton voile print from also Drapers Fabrics to make another blast art out of it. I'm really trying to put in the effort to learn to make things other than dresses. Um, I get very distracted with dresses and make quite a lot of them. And the patterns I have in mind for these tops are either for the flowy one, if I have enough fabric, do you C or B? Um, or alternatively, I'll make C but with short sleeves. So um, I have to mock those up still, but that's the idea. Um, and the other shirt pattern I have, which I'm not sure if I'll actually use it for any of these fabrics, but it's one that I'm wanting to make up, is probably this view of this vintage uh, Vogue pattern that I got on Facebook Marketplace or on a buy swap sell page, I think. Yeah, I really like this shirt and it should be really quick to make up. So if I can decide what fabric to use, I'll end up making this one. Otherwise, my idea was to make this out of like a white linen or cotton just to make like a nice basic top. But yeah, that's the plan for those two. 
Another fabric I got online, but this time from the Remnant Warehouse a little while ago, in fact probably before Christmas, but one that I just haven't used yet, is this stretch, black stretch linen. I think I might have included it in another fabric haul, but I just wanted to remind myself of its existence. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. I made up the navy blue version of this and it came out really kind of too drapey and too stretchy. I think the weight of it worked against itself in the dress type that I had so um, I will have to figure out what I want to do with this I'm still undecided as yet but it's a lovely piece of stretch linen next is this navy blue or dark blue cotton suiting that I picked up from um, spotlight so I got this with the idea of making a twirl of a pair of pants but I'm not really settled on what pants I want to make yet. Uh, I'm trying to find a pattern that's kind of high-waisted but not... I'm basically scared of fitting pants if I'm real, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, and so this has been in my stash for quite a while. I aim to use it up pretty soon. Hopefully. That's more of like a promise to myself than a reality most likely. <laughs> Now the fabric that I got from Spotlight a long time ago, or at least as long as I can remember, quarantine seems to be endless, um, is this navy blue corduroy. You guys got like a nice light corduroy texture. It's quite light and I had envisioned making pants out of it, but now I'm thinking I might make uh, dungarees or a pinafore out of it, something to that effect. I've seen a couple of really nice patterns around and a couple of my friends on Instagram have suggested some great options for this. I'm once again obviously avoiding pants even though I'm really trying not to. I mean hopefully there'll be pants, who knows. Then we're getting into some very special fabrics that I bought recently at the fabric store in Fortitude Valley. I went on a bit of a fabric shopping spree with a friend of mine who's also learning how to sew and picked up this wonderfully textured poly in black. I have a dress in mind that I want to make out of this, but I've just got to mock it up and make sure it looks the way I want it to look. The pattern I had in mind was this one. I'm just not sure how, if this fabric is probably suited to like the gathered bodice or just the overall shape of the dress. I might end up working off a bodice block and drafting just a very basic black dress with a kind of fuller skirt. Uh, in a toed up bodice rather than going off this pattern. I feel like this doesn't really lend itself well to this kind of fabric, but I got enough to make that dress if I do decide to. So yeah, that's most likely gonna be a little black dress. I love the texture. It's just something really different. I've never liked, I've always wanted to get sort of more neutral colored items for work and to make some more like formal clothes, but I don't like plain colors so I like a bit of texture um, make it a bit interesting to like soothe my crazy floral brain <laughs> and finally these two fabrics so I saw this on sale at the fabric store and I absolutely could not resist getting it um, I just love this eyelet fabric um, I have never worked with eyelet fabric or mesh and I really have no idea what the hell I'm doing but I love, 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 love this fabric. And I found a pattern online that I think will look really cool. It's like a vintage reproduction pattern that has not arrived yet. So that's the plan for that. This is kind of like a viscose lining that I picked up from the fabric store as well. It's a lovely off-white color. Um, and though it does crease really easily, I think it'd be really lovely as a lining. It just feels so lush and smooth. Um, and it will, I think it complements the yellow fairly well. Like if we have a layer of this. I can get one layer out underneath. I think that works really nicely. Um, I do want to have some parts that are just the eyelet, like over the shoulders and that kind of thing. I think the pattern I have is like a sweetheart dress neckline underneath in the white viscose and then a uh, kind of capped sleeve dress with the eyelet lining. Oh, with the eyelet, sorry. Uh, and I think that'll look really nice. But I've never worked in it ever before, so I will be mocking up this a lot and researching a lot and if you have any advice about working with eyelet like for example using tearaway interfacing I've heard is really good for when you need to sew over the holes um, and like I'm probably going to use French seams as much as possible where it's just the eyelet so that it's kind of 
all hidden in. I don't want to see any ugly seam allowance or like overlocking, for example. But yeah, if you have any hints or tips, please do let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll be embarking on that probably soon, but knowing me, I'll procrastinate because I'm so terrified of messing it up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and comment down below if you have any advice for me about working with specialty fabrics and I'll see you next time.